I saw many couple la. I worry for the more I'm a camping la. So I don't feel what you mean when you're not. Hey, why? This one is for you. It's Kofi Hayford on Joy 99.7 FM. It's the beat, the rhythm, the sound. This is 99.7 Joy FM. Ready? Let's go. We all go bring some sound. Everyone is dancing, everyone is singing, because everyone is painting with Savannah. Savannah paints from Azar are affordable enough for everybody to fulfill their paint needs. Paint more, pay less. Savannah paints, we all go paint some. We all go paint some, Savannah. We all go paint some. Of late, things no easy crowd. For my business inside, pressure day from customers. If I make payments, give suppliers. Who can I ride this? Hmm. Delivery charges. It no easy. Things no they move fast like before. Because everything make expensive. The family where they house. See what I did talk. Family where they call, they ask for another money. It no easy. <laughs> Vodafone cash be the only thing where they make my ID get to. If I they do transfers for Vodafone cash, it they save me money. If you they do Vodafone cash to Vodafone cash transactions, still no transfer charges there. Even if I they send money to another network, I they get value. Make you dial star 110 hash to send money. Sending money from Vodafone cash to Vodafone cash to be free. Vodafone. Super Hits Radio, Radio Joy 99.7. We, we, we don't brag. The frequency does it for us. 99.7 FM. Keep it locked. It's Kofi Hayford on your radio. Drive time on Joy 99.7 FM. Drive time on Joy 99.7 FM. I'm 
Yeah. 
It's live here on your radio, Joy 99.7 FM is the Dow, and the host that's been Coffee Hayford, 
And you know what it means, right? We're just about wrapping up. But before I go, though, a happy 70th birthday to Faustina Vivian Saki of Aglow International. Happy 70th birthday to you, Madame Faustina Vivian Saki of Aglow International. It's a message from the Bonzies. They're wishing you loads and loads of God's love. And then also a happy birthday going out to Donnell um, Elizabeth Daniels. Donnell Elizabeth Daniels, it's your birthday today. It's your 12th birthday, actually. Happy birthday going out to you. It's coming from Grandma Elizabeth in uh, West Hills right here in Accra. Thank you so, so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being a part of the show. Before I go, also, shouts going out to you, my brother Ivan of Matahiko. I've been enjoying all the hits, selections on points, and things like that, you know? <laughs> Let me just remind you that um, you'll be stuck with me on Drive Time on Joy all throughout this week. And so I'll catch you tomorrow on Drive Time from 3 p.m. till 5.30 p.m. Today has been a special edition, and so that's why, yeah? But thank you so much for being a part of it. Thanks to my producers, Abe Kusan Kofi, and of course, Oliver. And to every other one who has been in here. Leaving you in the hands of Bless. It's a record that everyone loves. I'm Kofi Hayford. Thanks for allowing me to serve you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the holiday. Peace. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the news on Joy 99.7 FM in Accra. The bulletin is live on Love 99.5 in Kumasi and over 30 affiliates across the country. Listen live on the My Joy online interactive app for all devices. And in the next uh, 30 minutes, former EC boss Afari Jan raises concerns over the alleged use of national security personnel in perpetuation of electoral violence as it questions the coalition of presidential election results through regional centers when it continues to spark confusion. But what is even more in the allegation of the involvement of national security personnel in election violence? I'm afraid this is very serious and foreboding for our democracy. We have more as Safari Jan is backing calls for the amendment of the constitution as he says some institutions are becoming structures of dubious integrity. Also tonight John Mahama will not congratulate Akufado for his 2020 electoral victory. The NDC national chairperson declares urging the president to focus on getting justice for eight persons killed during that election. The blood of the murdered eight shall remain a stain under Akufado Baumia's second term record forever. Instead of President Akufuado demanding congratulations from President John Dramani Mahama. 
We have details from the party's news conference at which Johnson Asiodun Kitia has been warning that the Electoral Commission's decision to ditch the indelible ink will be a recipe for chaos. Civil society, faith-based organizations coming to our office to appeal with us to ensure peace. They should put their efforts on making sure that the indelible ink stays. The EC must not make life easy for criminals to exploit our electoral process. And in this package, we have business. And in business, Ghana City expected to lose about 8.4% in value to the US dollar in the retail market this year. We have that uh, coming up shortly. Embarrassing and needless tonight's government comes under a barrage of criticism following the cancellation of the new African convention after the office of the president said the decision stemmed from the unforeseen state event uh, which scheduled to take place at the same venue. So once the place was booked, you can't cancel it at that hour. It was just too late to cancel it. If you in the state event had to be rescheduled. I mean, come on. So with this embarrassment, some heads must roll. My name is Blair Hesugan. Thanks for your company. Former chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Afarijan, is raising an alarm over the alleged use of national security personnel in orchestrating electoral violence, raising questions over the pertinent incident threatening the country's democracy at the Constitutional Day public lecture. He indicates that the Electoral Commission cannot continue to use regional centers to collate presidential election results when it sparks confusion. Take a listen. The fact that free and fair elections are essential to our democracy means that the Electoral Commission always has to deliver free and fair elections whose outcomes are credible enough to be acceptable as a basis for forming a legitimate government. Of several factors that an Electoral Commission requires to be able to achieve free and fair elections, two are paramount. First, It must make solid preparations from voter registration through voting operations to the collation of votes and the declaration of results. In doing so, it must pay particular attention to points where the election process is vulnerable to adulteration. I'm sure that the Electoral Commission is aware that most of the election controversies in recent times have centered on the counting and collation of votes. For this reason, I consider the setting up of regional collation centers in our presidential election to be a retrogressive step. 